The refugee crisis is undoubtedly one of the greatest humanitarian tragedies in the world now. I wanted to make a sculpture that was about the refugee crisis. I wanted to make it a collaborative project so that the money that the sculpture raised also went to help refugee causes. It is the ultimate, purest symbolism of how we are one, of how there is truly no difference between us. People don't get it. People don't get that refugees are normal human beings. I really want this to be a public artwork so that people walking down the street can see it. One element is a pavilion on the steps of the New York Public Library that Norman Foster's designed, which is almost completely transparent. Within that, you see these two plinths, and on those plinths are two cubes, which are metre by metre by metre. Each one weighs a tonne, and each one is made of frozen human blood. One of them is donated by several refugees. One is donated by people who see themselves not as refugees. But neither block is labelled. They're like genetic twins. They're like a pair of centuries. They're like people standing together. It was horrific to think about blood even in... Uh, till now, like, till I heard about the project, I, I thought, no, blood can help. So I shouldn't be afraid of blood, or seeing blood or giving blood. Each person's given blood is also offered the chance to make a short film and those short films will appear around the city on advertising hoardings with subtitles so that the people who appear in the abstract form in the sculpture will end up virtually populating the city with their stories. I like the, the art piece going around to different, different countries because that's part of the awareness and that's part of the movement. Awareness, then you get solidarity, then you start action, and this is a democratic way how you win. The most important thing that all the money that's going to be raised and the project is going to help the most vulnerable people. I always try to explain to people that we are all equal. We have the same blood, but I didn't know how to explain. I think there's something very potent about this concept that's going to move people when they see it. I think people are going to want to contribute. I think people are going to want to be involved. It's a call to action, but it's also a practical help. From what I've seen, Mark's imagination and creativity and vision for this particular artwork is so monumental and so important. I don't see how anyone could not take notice. My blood. My blood. My blood. And your blood. is the same. Under the skin. We are all the same. My blood. My blood. My blood. And refugee blood is the same. Under the skin. We are all the same. <laughs>